All right, this lesson's on rulers, guides, and grid lines. Elements that won't actually show up on your presentation, but you can put them on your screen to allow you to see where objects are lining up, uh, giving you better a better idea of how things are going to look once you are done. So I'm going to switch over to view here, the view tab that is. And on the view tab we have the ability to turn on your rulers. All right, so you've got your vertical and your horizontal ruler and whenever you move your mouse on your slide you have a little line up here and on the side that tells you where exactly your object is going to start. So if you're going to click and drag an object like a square or a circle and if you want to start at a certain area you're able to do that very easily with your ruler. Now your grid lines are here. Now oftentimes when you insert an object they'll snap to one of the grid lines and this grid allows you to see whether two objects would be lined up or not very very easily. So those are your grid lines non-printing grid lines. I'm going to turn them off so I can show you the next feature. The next feature for some reason didn't make it in a show hide list. We have to go a little deeper to get it. We've got They're called guides and all it is really is a vertical and horizontal line that will show you the very center of your slide. So I'm going to go to home and arrange and align and then grid settings and I'm going to ask to see the guides. And there are your guides right there. So you would determine whether you use your guides or whether you use your grid lines. I don't know that I would use both uh, for any, I can't think of any reason why I would use both. But I know that I use I used the grid lines quite a bit in Word when I want to line up things uh, quickly and easily. So that was view and you can turn on your grid lines like that.